This video is sponsored by Millspec Watch Group. Millspec Watch Group is an authorized dealer of a number of different military style watches based out of North Dakota and the Minnesota Twin Cities area. All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today it's finally time to take a full review look at the LumTech M90. Got this watch from Millspec Watch Group. Great group of people supporting law enforcement and first responders. Um, and uh, I really like what they do. Part of the money from the purchase of their watches goes to um, different groups to support them, including Vested Canines, providing bulletproof armored vests for canines that are out there working in the field. So awesome outfit, but let's jump into this watch. I've had four days with this watch on the wrist, and it's a favorite. I absolutely love this watch, and I don't want to send it back to them, but it is an awesome, awesome timepiece. This is the M90 from LumTech, and this is a 600-meter diver-style watch. Now, if you look at the M series from LumTech, there are multiple versions, not necessarily of this watch, but kind of of this watch. So the M90, like I said, is a 600, mil, uh, 600 meter diver's watch in a 44 millimeter case. The M91 is a very similar watch, but it's in a 43 millimeter case and it's 300 meters water resistance with a non-turning bezel on it. It's got a fixed bezel on it and it is a couple millimeters thinner than this one. We'll talk specs on this one as we go along. So that's the M91. The M92 is basically this same watch, but in a stainless steel case, all stainless steel, so that's the biggest difference. And then the M93, it's the M90, yeah, M91. 93 is basically um, the same watch minus the bezel, minus the PVD and stainless steel. So they're all kind of the same watch, just summer stainless, summer PVD finished. Um, so cool. So anyways, let's talk this watch. Um, again, a really awesome timepiece. Now, if you want to see the unboxing, everything that comes in the box, I do have that video. I'll put the link to that down below in the description. So Let's talk specs on this. So this is a big boy watch. This is a 44 millimeter watch from side to side, 51 lug to lug. Comes in at over 15 millimeters of thickness from the screw down case back to the top of the domed sapphire crystal. And you're running 24 millimeter lug openings to sport the size of this watch, which I think is a really smart idea to have 24 millimeter lugs on watches this size. FKM rubber strap that I have this on right now is probably, if not the most, one of the most comfortable rubber straps I've ever worn. It does have quick release spring bars on it here, but super, super comfortable, super flexible, lots of holes um, for spacing, for you know your wrist swelling and whatnot. And then this really awesome venting here on the bottom of it is done really nice. While we got it turned over, you can check out that case back on there with the M90 limited edition. This is number uh, 37 of 300 in this colorway, LumTech, Sapphire, 600 meters, all that good stuff. Coolest part here is on the dial of this wash. Now, you can see it has this patina color on it. And I will say that the black versions, the PVD, the black, I think there's a nitride, titanium nitride coating, um, they have the faded kind of faux patina loom on them. The other two in stainless steel do have the white loom. So that's gonna be another difference there. But these are all sandwich dial watches and I kind of, kind of turn it to the side there. You can see the cutout for those indices on the Arabics at the 12, three, six, and nine. Also at each of the five minute markers, they are cut out there. And basically the way these are put together is you have a brass uh, bottom plate that is loomed. That's your bottom dial. And then they paste this other brass dial on top that has the cutouts. And so your loom kind of comes through there. Stick around for the loom shot because it's absolutely it's stunning on this watch. It lights up a room. But that's really cool. Um, definitely hearkening to a Panerai style watch, but just a little bit more combat look to it. Big sword hands on this watch. Sweeping hand reaching all the way out there to the minute or seconds track. Check out the 120 click bezel. Very nice and crispy there. Very crispy, lines up very nicely, everything about it. AR coating on this sapphire crystal. Uh, military grade is what they're saying there at the website. Salida SW200-1 is being run in this movement, so it's a good Swiss movement. 26 joules, 20,800 vibrations per hour. Hackable, hand windable, and date functionality over here at around the four o'clock position on the watch. Nice big screw down crown on this is a 10.2 <clears throat> millimeter crown on this watch. So you're gonna have no problem manipulating this crown, even with gloves on. Um, it's gonna be really, really easy to work with. And I think that's super imperative on a large size dive watch like this. Comes with the FKM rubber strap, like I said, and it also has this leather strap. We'll go ahead and throw it on here for the wrist check so you guys can see that what that looks like. Actually, we'll get it on with both of the straps so you can get a wrist check to see what that looks like. But really incredible timepiece. These run $985. Um, this is the retail price on these at pretty much any website. Like I said, got mine from Millspec Watch Group. Link will be down below in the description. But let's go ahead and pause it for a second. 
get this watch on my seven, seven inch wrist, excuse me, and then be sure to stick around for that loom shot. All right, so here's the watch on my seven inch wrist. And this has been the strap that I've worn it on most. It's funny, when I did the unboxing just a few days ago, I mentioned that it's still summer. I'm in Central California and we've been hitting the high 90s and even in the hundreds in the last couple of weeks. It's cooling down to the high 80s and low 90s, which to us is, is pretty chilly. Um, so that's why I said it's still summer where I'm. So I'm enjoying the rubber strap, you know, because the heat and sweat and everything like that. But we will throw it on the leather strap so you guys can see what that looks like. It did come on the leather strap and the unboxing. And forgive the little boo-boo there on my arm, guys. My cat got me when I was playing with my cat the other day. But let's throw it on the leather strap, see what it looks like, and then go out with that loom shot. And here is the watch on the leather strap. I definitely love the look of the watch on the leather strap. It looks good. Feels really good too. A little bit he uh, not heavier, but it just feels a little more um, I don't know large on this because the leather is kind of stiff and whatnot. But it is getting broken into me, which is great. Now I said these are nine hundred and eighty-five dollars, and what I want to do before the loom shot is also mention to you. They're using all Viton gaskets in here, so it's got a Viton casket gasket on the case back, double diamond Viton gaskets for the crown. So super awesome, and not only that, but when you purchase one of these watches, these are hand assembled designed in Ohio in the United States, and they offer lifetime timing adjustment on the watch as well as gasket lubrication and or replacement um, for the gaskets on the watch. And that's a really, really big thing. If you can get your watch serviced pretty much, you know, get the, the timing adjusted and whatnot on the watch for you for a lifetime, that's worth a lot of money just in and of itself. So that price tag really, is not as big as it seems, but let's kill the lights and check out the loom. I enjoy it when I just kill the studio lights for just a second and I'm able to see the loom on the watch. So I'm going to reach down here and grab this one. And now my camera, now it's working pretty good there. So pretty incredible. I mean, the loom on this is absolutely magical. Now the seconds hand is loomed and lit up there pretty good, but my, my camera is doing some funny things in the dark, but this gives you a great idea of the loom. MDV technology, I've heard a couple things, uh, maximum darkness visibility or maximum display visibility. I'm not quite sure exactly which one it is, but the, the loom on this watch is absolutely stunning. So let's get the lights back up and uh, see, I want to get your thoughts on this watch. All right, so there we have the M90 from Loom Tech Watches. I'd like to get your guys' thoughts on this watch down below in the description. Let me know what you think of the size, the overall characteristics of the watch, and what do you think about that lifetime adjustability and gasket lubrication and or replacement. I think that's a pretty special thing with this watch. Stay tuned, this watch will be going to uh, Marshall Time next and then probably out to Watches Galore, Scott Stoffer to get a look at this one. It's an awesome timepiece. So, all right guys, you liked the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do, please do. Thanks guys.